just want to have a, a word about uh, putting figures into a landscape painting. I will often do paintings without any figures at all. I just look at it and I think, no, it's nice and quiet that, I'll leave it as it is. But sometimes you feel as though you want a bit of life, almost a bit of narrative, and a figure walking up a lane or across a footpath or something can add just a bit of life and then a splash of extra colour uh, to your painting. Uh, and I will offer, I have quite a few photos I've taken over the years of figures walking into scenes. I've got a little book of sketches of little figures that I sometimes use. But this is a way that you can, without having, being an expert on drawing people, or without having to spend a lot of time on it or searching for a reference, uh, a fairly credible little figure shape that you can create. Uh, is If we take a colour for a coat, for instance, like um, red on it, and let's just get a little shape, say for the torso of a figure. We'll suggest the elbows. And this is a figure walking away from us. Now let's get a bit of uh, dark colour now for the, for the legs. Maybe leave a little gap that suggests some boots, some hiking socks, something like that. Um, there would be a shaded side to the person's coat. Say, say the light was coming from the, the left, the right hand side would have a bit of shadow. So I've got a bit of grey there. And then a bit of really dark brown again to suggest the, the head. If you leave a gap to suggest the collar. And then maybe you have, maybe cast a bit of shadow light coming from the left, so you could cast a bit of shadow. Now that's, there's nothing complex about that, but it reads as a, it reads as a figure. We can all see that as a figure sort of walking away from us down a lane into a scene, something like that. A couple of pitfalls to avoid, because I do see this happening when, we, when I'm in a, a, a live class or workshop and we've decided to add a few figures to a scene, is for instance, people tend to get the scale of the head wrong. So if I do that little, to, to demonstrate this, if I do that little torso again, I see this happening a lot where somebody then puts a head on that, it's too big like that. Now that, that straight away, I, that looks like a child to me straight away because the, uh, with, with a child, the head is bigger in proportion to the, to the rest of the body. If you work on the head going about eight times into the body, uh, that's about right. Also, an another thing is, and I'll do another little example, but another mistake is to make the figure look a bit, a bit hunched up is if you use do the head immediately onto the shoulders like that uh, and you don't have that little gap there that suggests a neck or a collar uh, it looks like they're walking about like that uh, that's another thing um, a handy a hint as you can see with the uh, with the, the the legs is that you can you leave that little gap to suggest some hiking socks or something or the top of some boots and then you have one foot slightly further forward than the other that indicates, like on there, that, in, that makes it look like they're walking, they're moving. What you wouldn't want to do is attach feet to it because that, that makes them static or, or, or stood still. So it's, it's really, it's a sort of, it's a sort of um, shortcut uh, to a figure. It's a little shape that reads like a walking person uh, to anyone looking at your painting.